pilot is about to take off. So right now we're in London, um, just got here, it's about one o'clock. And um, we're on our way to an adventure below, if we can find it and not get completely sick before we get there. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got another adventure night as well. So in between we're going to kind of eat food and buy things, as we usually do. Sidetracked in Top Shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just buying my nails as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cupcake in here that I am so desperate to eat. Soon. Soon. So my train comes in about 20 minutes and I'm going back home. I feel like I've been in London for the whole day but I've only managed to vlog it any because I've been so busy. Um, yeah, I'm going to get on the train now, go home. Darren because I haven't seen him since yesterday. That is a rather large bag. What is it? <laughs> what have you done? When you're paying by car for cupcakes, you know that it's a serious cupcake buy. My vanilla cupcake is looking very plain and sad right now. Vanilla. Can't eat vanilla. You buy it's a vanilla classic. Cupcake. It's actually my first ever Lotus cupcake. We'll have to get you on the platform on the camera so that um, Okay, we'll have we'll do a little taste test in a second. Wednesday now. I don't think I actually finished yesterday's part of the vlog. I just remember eating a cupcake, getting on a train and coming home and pretty much falling asleep because I was absolutely <laughs> exhausted and my feet hurt so much. I had these really lovely shoes on um, all day which I loved. I think I put them in the vlog so you'll probably have seen them but they hurt my feet so much and I have blisters everywhere so I'm wearing comfortable socks today and uh, I won't be doing too much walking. Um, that's a fun little story about my feet there for you. I was supposed to be back in London again tonight for a launch. Um, party for Nova Woman Night, which is Sammy from the Beauty Crush and Jason, her boyfriend's new clothing line, which looks so beautiful, all just really lovely, minimalist, well designed pieces, which I really, really want to get my hands on. But I think I'm going to skip that for tonight because I just can't face the four hours to get there and back to London again. Because I'm also going to be back up there on Friday and Saturday, so 
it's just, it's just too much travel time for me, I can't do it. So the reason I'm actually up there later on this week is because I'm going to Beautycon, which is really exciting. Beautycon have never come to England before, so they're going to be in London for the first time, and it's the first time I've ever gone to anything like this, so yeah, it should be really good. Susie and I are actually doing a meet and greet with Benefit while we're there, so that should be really fun getting to meet some of you guys and just having a good chat about makeup and everything else there is to talk about. Um, and I'm not 100% sure on the details yet, so I will leave them all down below for you, and I I think, I think tickets are still available to go to Beautycon, so if you haven't made up your mind yet on whether you're going or not, I will leave the information for that down below as well. So I did do a little bit of shopping while I was in London yesterday, and we also got some stuff from Jo Malone, so I'll quickly show you what I got. So first of all in here, Jo Malone actually had an artist at the event, and she painted this for me. I think it's so cool, it's kind of like an abstract version of myself on the actual fragrance book, so I will be keeping that forever. Um, and this is the actual reason we were there, the new fragrance set they have launching which just how stunning does that packaging look this is mimosa and cardamom and i thought this would be kind of a really spicy really oriental fragrance and it is an oriental one but it's so soft it's kind of a bit vanilla -y, um and just a really lovely beautiful soft floral scent so i really can't wait to start wearing that it's beautiful it doesn't actually launch until september though unfortunately so i feel really bad teasing you all with it but it's definitely one to keep an eye out for and then from selfridges i actually went to muji they have a little muji in there which is so handy because i think selfridges is just the best shop you can get anything you want in there and I picked this up for my sunglasses I am the worst with sunglasses I always break them because I'm either sitting on them or standing on them so I thought I would get this to put them all in it's kind of a really good size for four different pairs of sunglasses so I'm gonna do that now I'm not sure if it's gonna look better this way or this way up the decisions I think I actually prefer it laying down as opposed to upright like it came I think you can just see everything a lot better that way so I have my Urban Outfitters sunglasses in here which I really love at the moment and um, H&M aviators and then my Ray-Bans which I actually never wear so hopefully now that they're in here and I can see them all I should get some more use out of them okay so I'm off out now and I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing it's pretty much the same as yesterday actually black jeans these are my Topshop Joni jeans though this time um, I've got a black cameo which is also from Topshop and then this kind of like long line cardigan it is actually really really long um, and it's got this like crochet detail on the back which I really like this is from Miss Selfridge I think pretty sure it's Miss Selfridge um, and then I have my Zara bag and these are the comfiest boots I could find and um, these are actually from next they're kind of like little cowboy star boots but I really like them because they are so so comfortable to wear um, and then for jewellery I have on this H&M necklace which I'm in love with at the moment it's rose gold um, and I also have my Monica vinegar ring which Darren actually got me for our anniversary this weekend so absolutely in love with this and what are you wearing today? Um, Asos top, Revival yeah. jeans and Zara shoes. Zara shoes, I like these shoes, really should put that washing away. We're on our way to town now. Um, I've dragged this one along with me as well. Well, I say dragged, but he's actually the one driving. <laughs> I think we're gonna have uh, not a cheeky Nando's, but a cheeky Wagamama's. Katsu curry. Katsu curry. Ooh. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> Hold it higher. So it's not that high. <laughs> Vlogging for <laughs> beginners. We are so full up. We just got out of Bagamamas. We ended up sitting next to our friends, which was really funny. It's 
lot later now. I finished everything I needed to do finally, um, and I'm still so full from that Wagamama's though. I feel like I'm just rolling around with a massive full stomach, and I just don't want to eat food ever again. I'm gonna go now and watch the semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest that I missed yesterday. I was so gutted that I completely forgot about it. I think apart from Christmas and my birthday. Eurovision is the absolute highlight of my year. I just love it. I know you're all out there judging me right now, but cheesy Europop, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching the last couple of days and coming along with me. There's gonna be a lot more vlogs to come on this channel in the following few months, so um, keep an eye out for those. There's something very exciting happening soon as well. Um, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give this vlog a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.